Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. The day of our Mistralton City Gym battle is finally here. Let's go! Oh god, oh no! Ah! My headset flew off of my head when I did that. Oh crap, the side goes on the right, that side goes on. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Allow me to apologize by giving you this fresh water. Take it, please. Now I need an ointment. This gym is a wind tunnel. With the propellers bat and back start spin quickly, you'll be blown away like a certain someone just was. When you think the wind will blow, stay hidden behind a wall and wait for it to stop. By the way, flying type Pokemon have more weaknesses than you might expect, including rock, electric, and ice type moves. Thank you, bro. So we gotta be patient or something with this place. And you know how good I am with that. I'm absolutely gonna get greedy and miss the cues of when I gotta go through here. Strong winds, right? It represents the strength of us and our gym leader. This is a Pokemon gym. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Yes, sir. Uh, flight instructor getting kind of outside of his norm and still instructing everybody. Pilot Flynn. This wouldn't be such a bad- I get it, Flynn. Flying. <laughs> this wouldn't be such a bad place to put on an amulet coin, because I think these trainers have pretty good, uh, have pretty good, uh, money. The economics of Mistralton City, on that note, are scary. It's actually two houses, yet somehow has an airport. And whoever budgeted the city's development needs to be fired. You have, uh, like 2,000. Okay, maybe it's not that big of a deal. I should swap around my health items now that Pignati's evolved. Pignati takes the Rocky Helmet. Jade's had the Amulet Coin for a long time. I'm gonna swap that out for the Eviolite, as I said I would. Mr. Type Coverage McFly gets the Expert Belt, as he's gonna be hitting all sorts of flying Pokemon for super effective damage between having an electric move and an ice move, got it! I will not pay for my insolence. Let's go, oh, 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 god. Uh, been there, done that, sorry. Going. And we're going again. So, the theme of Skyla is gyms that would get you sued. In the first game, she was blowing you into cannons. In this one, she's slamming you into walls in a wind tunnel. My Pokemon are stronger than wind. It's my pride and joy. What Pokemon's it gonna be, huh? I gotta see this. I gotta see this. You're gonna have like a ducklet or something, I bet. It would match your color. A si oh, a Sigilyph! Shoot, okay, no, I can't get mad at that. I approve of your choices. Level 37, they're up in the levels on us quite a bit here. We're, uh, we're staying pretty even. That's one thing that I like about Gen 5 a lot with those whole new experience point rules that I was telling you about earlier. The fact that it doesn't really seem to matter if you fight a lot or fight a little, I always feel competently leveled where if I'm skipping a lot of battles, the few fights I'm doing just give more experience. And if I'm doing a lot of fighting, sure, I guess I am leveling up faster, but I never feel like I'm too nutty over level where there's just, it's trivializing combat. I can get over leveled, sure, just not that much. Discharge. That's a 80 power, 100 accuracy move that may cause paralysis. I don't care about that. It likely doesn't outperform Thunder Punch with my attack stat being higher than my special attack stat. We'll get rid of that. Defeated Pilot Winslow. God, Winslow just makes me think a cat dog, and that show is awful. Like, God, it's such an unpleasant show to sit through. Oh my God. Like, I thought I liked it as a kid, but I could not get into it as an adult when I tried watching it again. Right side clear, left side clear, battle flight is ready for takeoff! So flying types. We heard that they're weak to quite a few common things. They're kind of a weird type of arcane. There is only one pure flying type, and it's the Tornadus that we heard about that's not even in this game. It's really weird. Flying type is just paired up with a bunch of other types rather than really having an identity of its own. It's basically just a subtype. Few flying type Pokemon get resistances against fighting due to having due to all sorts of the types they're paired up with. A lot of them are normal flying, or in Arkin's case, rock flying. So they tend to not really get to take advantage of one of their more useful resistances. Flying types are known for their high speed, sporting the highest average of all types. It's offensively very strong, not being resisted by much, virtually always having a secondary type to help it out that usually pairs well with it. In fact, ground and flying covers one another's weaknesses almost perfectly, and there are certain ground flying type Pokemon. I guess opposites really do attract. 
Other than offense and speed, flying types conveniently immunize a lot of effects. There's ground immunity, ground and entry hazards, arena trap. They're just sort of a free type that doesn't really get affected by much in the way of effects. In short, offensively strong, defensively has a lot of weaknesses, but has immunities to some helpful stuff. Take you out. I think it was Elron was your name, just kind of makes me think of Enron. Thinking of all the unpleasant things from the 90s today. And okay, we're gonna get that. Man, how are half of these gyms not being shut down for the, by the Pokemon League for operating below the board? I got scared there for a second. Or, you know, just being shut down by the law for killing children? Especially in the anime, like, I, I always wondered that as a kid how Sabrina's gym wasn't getting shut down by, you know, the cops. Maybe she was turning the police into dolls and imprisoning them inside of her gym. If you've never seen those episodes, uh, you're in for some stuff. Ducking down. Got a lengthy segment up here. Got a zigzag across. Get in. Just as long as we're on the green, it doesn't matter if our hair blows all over the place. It's kind of impressive that those pigtails are not waving in the wind more. I'll go down here and fight this guy just so we can get him. Just so we can get him done. McFly is tearing it up. There's no competition. If you can beat me, you'll be able to face the gym leader. You're too careless if you think that. Don't let your guard down yet. What do you got for me, man? Come on, what do you got? On the note of the gym leaders being designed uh, based around the diversity of the United States, Skyla is the boss of a team of male pilots in a job that is almost entirely held by men. Similarly, Juniper was changed from a man to a woman partway through development. They kind of wanted to play with the fact that you had these jobs that were dominated by men and yet the most successful person at the job was a woman. I thought that was pretty neat, and Skyla's super good at what she does, she's super popular. I think we can all agree that she's really cool looking. As a character, she's pretty cool. As a battle, though, I kind of have opinions about her, but, uh, yeah, I guess it's about time for that, isn't it? McFly is doing... McFly is doing way too well. I'm just gonna say that outright. McFly should not be our lead for this fight. We should really open up with Harmony or just somebody else, giving someone else some time to shine. Now let's go with Jade. Jade's been a baby for long enough and is finally starting to grow up. You deserve to lead a gym battle, especially after you got freaking robbed all that time ago. Before we begin our fight, I'd like to stop and listen to this song for a few seconds because we haven't really gotten a chance. Sounds so adventurous, yet so whimsical, just like Skyla herself. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. You're a tough trainer who can face the wind and not get blown off your feet. Well, uh, save for the two times it happened. I'm kind of excited about this battle. Why don't you and I have some fun? Skyla, the high-flying girl, opens up with Swoobat, psychic flying type, level 37, with the moves Heart Stamp, Attract, Acrobatics, and Assurance. It has no held item, meaning that it can hit quite hard if it wants to. Aside from that, gonna rely on stunning you with flinches and attraction. Thankfully, Jade, being a girl, doesn't gotta worry about that. Doesn't swing that way, I guess. Crunch it! Not quite enough to dig it out. When I think about how you might attack, it's like I'm walking on air. It's gotta feel so awesome being a pilot. I've always wanted to get my pilot's license, and I've always said that maybe if this whole YouTube thing stopped working out one day, maybe that's what I would do with my spare time. I used to be terribly afraid of flying, though, but I just kind of loosened up about it over time, and I got more and more used to it as I kept having to do it. Swana is her star Pokemon, and yet is coming out second. It's level 39, water flying type, with uh, holding a citrus berry, with the moves Feather Dance, Roost, Bubble Beam, and Air Slash. I had no business surviving a turn against that thing. Sorry. Harmony, McFly, Aiden. Let's try, let's try Harmony. I just sound like Jim Carrey in freaking, in freaking Ace Ventura when I'm making decisions. Harmony, you get out there, you show it who's boss. We're gonna start off with a hypnosis. I knew that you'd be faster than me. Swan is pretty breakneck. Well, that sucks. I have no option but to just take the Fane here. You do 51 damage, just over half my health, so it doesn't matter. 
Well, okay, I was dead if I healed anyway, if you got a critical hit like that. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll stop trying to be fancy and just send out McFly like I am supposed to. <sighs> you get out there, man. Please don't have your bad luck shine through at a moment like this. You've been doing so well lately. You've been one of the strongest members of our team ever since you filled out your moveset a lot more. And I've been impressed by how easily done it was. I thought it was gonna be hard and we weren't gonna have it done until basically the end. Skarmory, never give up. To do so as an insult to the Pokemon who fight for you is level 37, steel flying type, sturdy for its ability, air cutter, agility, steel wing, and fury attack. It's gonna go for agility to buff itself up, but it really has nothing that it can do to McFly at all. So go ahead, punch through that metal once again. I resist that, man. That is static. <laughs> just gotta spit on its, just gotta spit in its eye before it goes down. It's the only vulnerable part of its body. That's where you gotta punch if you really wanna hit it hard. Level 39. Way to go, McFly. <laughs> I won't forget this battle. I'm glad I could fight against you. You're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My Pokemon and I are happy because for the first time in quite a while, about two years, I'd say we could fight with our full strength. This is an official league gym badge, but this is just a stepping stone. So, Skyla's kind of a joke in the way of difficulty. I feel like in both games that she appears in, having her as the sixth gym leader might not really be the best. She always just seems like a free gym badge though, because who doesn't have the capability of dealing with flying type Pokemon when they get here? She gives us TM62 Acrobatics, a TM that can't really be learned by many Pokemon as well. I get that you probably want to have one pretty easy gym battle around the middle of the games, because the player being able to relax and just have fun is an important part of difficulty curves. But I just feel like she's always particularly easy, because I always have some electric type or some ice type or just something like that. I wonder what Professor Juniper is up to. I did promise her a ride in my plane. Let's take the shortcut! I can fly! <laughs> I smashed through boxes and got flung out the freaking door. How are you not getting sued by your challengers for this? Time for a quick hop on my plate. Maybe she became a pilot because it's a high paying job and she was a sadist allowing her to abuse people and still pay her lawyers. Hi there. I hope we can get some good research done on the other side of the mountain as well. That's right, I want you to take this flight too. There's someone I want you to meet in Opelucid City, but we can't get through Twist Mountain right now. We'll just make a quick flight over to Lenti Mustang. Where? I'll be waiting for you in Miss Dalton Cargo Service. Hey, Professor, wait up! Honestly, she just does everything at her own pace. Okay, you come too. Got our next mission. I want to talk to. Is it you? No. I have in my notes to talk to the kid again after beating Skyla, but that's not very specific and I have no idea what myself is talking about. Wow, a jet badge! You wanna get Skyla? Okay, I'll tell you something cool. We left our treasure at the edge of, our, of the runway. Already got it. <laughs> wait, 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 no I didn't! This only appeared now! TM40 Aerial Ace, a far more useful TM than the one you actually get for beating the gym leader. Oh, you found our treasure! Found it! Just kidding. Our ducklet already knows Aerial Ace, so we'll give you this TM. Aerial Ace always hits the target. I hope it comes in handy. See ya. Bye-bye. That was neat. I didn't think they'd do a cutscene for that. Damn. I I'm kind of impressed. Unpacking our new TMs, Acrobatics is 55 base power. Yeah, nobody can even learn this. Not even Harmony, and it's a flying type. It does 110 base power if you don't have a held item. It's okay, I guess. Aerial Ace is a bit more useful in general sense where it's 60 base power, but always connects. Uh, I opted not to learn it. Okay, I've heard all of you. I'm organizing my bag. Harmony has an expert belt, which is what McFly also has. There's no rule against it. I just don't like having two of the same held item. It just feels kind of uncreative to me. Give this some thought, and I think the scope lens. Consider the amulet coin too, just because I like having it around, but we're doing fine for money. Even though we don't have a lot of cash on hand right now, we have so many dang hel uh, selling items, we're playing all of those side activities that we'll never want for money ever again. I guarantee you, we're never gonna have trouble with it. Strong words. Strong words, I might eat them later. 
Going to the Pokemon Center, our rewards for beating Skyla are absolutely nothing. The stores don't begin carrying a single new anything as a result of our gym victory and big stadium and small court also don't get stronger. Probably why they were so over leveled from just beating Clay because they knew we weren't gonna have that for a while. So now with our jet badge in hand, we're gonna soar across the sky in Skyla's plane. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we'll begin our adventure to Opelucid City, the site of our seventh gym battle. See you guys then. Wow, three quarters of the way there already. <laughs>